Hey guys, Nostalgic Rider story time! Why am I using fountain pens right now? So, uh, let's take you back a couple of years. I was in college, I was getting really freaking tired of handwriting my notes. Uh, reason being, my handwriting was just sloppy. I would started kind of using my cursive again because it was easier for me to read than my print. And I was just having a hard time. My hands were hurting because I was do doing these notes. I'm using ballpoint. I'm cramming down on them. It's not a pleasant experience. And I just happened upon a forum at one point that actually pointed me in the direction of fountain pens. And so I researched and I researched and I ended up finding uh, the Pilot Varsity. So that's the V pen in Europe and most of the rest of the world. It's just a pen, but yeah, yay big. Um, pretty simple. It's actually got a felt wick feed, or yeah, felt wick feed. It's really, really actually a pleasant time. Um, I was just looking at my wife's desk there because usually she has the last of the varsities sitting on her desk, but I don't see it. So that's okay. But yeah, so I went ahead and picked a couple of those up and I went, oh, this is a lot nicer. Pretty much instantly, I'm not having as, as much hand pain. What's going on? And it, as it turns out, that was a really, really awesome thing for me. The more I played with fountain pens, the more I realized I can actually do this. I'm not having to put down that pressure. I'm not having to give myself hand cramps. It's actually a lot more fun. Plus, all these pens are super customizable. I've got a whole assortment of body sizes, body shapes, nib sizes, ink colors. Come on. I mean, there's combinations out the wazoo, and that's really, really cool for me. And then you've also got to take into account the durability aspect, too. I've blown through disposable ball points, all right? I know the drill. I've blown through disposable gel pens. I know the drill. But the, that obviously doesn't really happen with the fountain pens. It's not meant to do that. It's not designed for that. You're meant to be able to keep them. We have an entire vintage market dedicated to 50 to 100 year old pens. I mean, that's actually a really cool thing to me. And some people will actually really latch on to the whole environmental argument aspect. I mean, there's a lot less waste involved in one fountain pen than there is in however many ballpoints take up the life of that one fountain pen. Now, obviously, there's going to be waste, yeah, waste created with the production of the pens and the production of the inks. Whether or not it actually works out in the green, I'm not sure, but some people say it does. It uh, beats me. What I do know is that if you're really interested in the environmental aspect, give the Noodler's pens a look. As I recall, most of the bodies of their pens are actually biodegradable. But I think that's actually all I've got for you. I just kind of wanted to throw those couple of things at you, kind of a quick, here's why I'm using fountain pens. It just turns out it's a much better experience. I, I take notes with them all the time. You know, I thought I was going to be done with that when I got out of college, but as it turns out, I do it a lot of work too. So, you know, what you gonna do? But, yeah. See you next time.